Don't forget to check out our sponsor, The Hell Blaze, at TheHellBlaze.com. 100% all-natural products from lotions, soaps, foot soaks, bath bombs, and much, much more. Use the promo code GOODFELLA1BOXING. Tell them your boy CJ Goodfella since you get 18% off. We out. All right, man, we back. It's your boy CJ Goodfella, Goodfella Sports TV. Appreciate the love and support. Let's get to some boxing. We're going to talk about Crawford and Mikey towards the end, but Adrian Broner, original opponent, fell out. Uh, one of his, you know, his team members caught COVID, but... Now, Adrian Broner's rumored to fight a Madonna and Fabian Madonna. Fabian Madonna lost one time to a dude named Para. I remember he's supposed to fight um, Klimov, a guy that Crawford beat early in his career um, at some point. And I don't think they fought. I think the, car, the fight fell out. But, I mean, I guess that makes sense. Fabian Madonna, he, he lost uh, a while ago, and he just won. He finally got a win back. So, he on the winning streak. The guy he was originally supposed to face, Adrian Broner, I mean, he wasn't the guy nobody knew. So, I mean, really, this could be an upgrade, especially if Madonna can be in attendance or something of that nature. And Adrian Broner at the point where he need quick money, he need easy money. If they put Adrian Broner in there with a top 5, 140-pounder, I mean, I mean, I think Taylor Ramirez would stop the undisputed fight if they could to fight Adrian Broner. All right? And, you know, think about it. You know, he ain't going to go right into a Regis fight. And Regis' contract was a fight where, he could have fought Adrian. He going to fight Adrian Broner. I mean, think about it. I thought Al had Maurice Hooker, but apparently he going to the zone to take on Virgil Ortiz. But how would people like Maurice Hooker taking on Adrian Broner? You know, maybe that's too much of a dangerous fight for him. And then you got guys like Josh Taylor, Jose Ramirez, Jose Cepeda, Barash, he got knocked out a couple months ago. I mean, uh, Cesados. I mean, they could have did a better job than the original opponent, you know, Campa. I mean, you could have went to 135 and got somebody. You could have called up Richard Comey. You know, you could you could have called up anybody. See, they could have offered Adrian Broner, <laughs> uh, Lomachenko, excuse me. This is what I'm talking about. They gonna throw on this card on Showtime just because. Excuse me, just because it's Adrian Broner and think it's gonna sell. You know, I'm not gonna waste my time if I ain't got it to watch him beat up on Fabian Madonna. Okay, I'm not. You know, when he fight Regis Progress, wake me up. I mean, they could have did Barrios versus Broner. You know, but they don't want no threat. Asia Broner thrives on guys, you know, who are below him. His whole career is built on fighting guys average or below, let's keep it real, or just above average. What's his best win? Paula Malinaji on the down slope. DeMarco, you know what I'm saying? Guys like John Molina, Escovedo, you know. Can anybody even name the guys he won a title verse? Emmanuel uh, Taylor. Like, he ain't go to 35 and beat Crawford. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He didn't go to 35 and, and, you know, beat a Lomachenko, even though he wasn't there. You know, he didn't fight Gamboa when he was down there. You know, he didn't fight uh, with those top-ranked guys. None of those guys down there. He didn't beat a Mike. He got beat by Mikey at 140. So, I mean, a lot of people got make a case that Broner should be in the Hall of Fame. But, you know, if you he's a product of... Uh, He's a product of matchmaking. Let's keep it real. If there were only two belts, would Adrian Broner even be a champion? Let's keep it real. No. And I got love for AB, but he wouldn't have been a champion. At 126, a lot of people thought he lost to Daniel Ponce de Leon. So he wasn't even a champion. I mean, at 130, excuse me. He wasn't even a champion. I can't even think who was at that division down there. You know, <laughs> you put him at 35 at the time. Would he beat Terrence Crawford? Maybe, maybe not. Who knows? <laughs> You know, he put him at 140 pounds. He'd be Khabib. You know, I forget the dude's whole name. He'd be Khabib. But to be honest, let's keep him one, one hum bun. Adrian Broner is a product of matchmaking. And on the other eye, Adrian, I mean, Gennady Golovkin is a product of matchmaking. You know, but only one get flat. Everybody get AB flat, but AB tried. He fought Sean Porter. You know what I'm saying? He, he tried to fight the best. When he did, he, he lose. He fought Mikey Garcia. Lost. You know, can't say the thing about Golovkin. If if Canelo only bought a penny to the table, bought regular pay for Golovkin to the table, would Gennady Golovkin had took that fight? Absolutely not. Golovkin won a shot to fade. Let's keep it one home You know, and at least Broner then moved up in weight. And he found his limitation in Madonna. And Madonna wrecked him. So what better storyline to say? Madonna's little brother who built up quite the resume as far as wins and losses. Fight Adrian Broner. I mean, somebody at Showtime was probably sitting in the office, Fabian Madonna versus Broner. You know? 
And then again, Madonna, I mean, shit, Broner should probably fight Oscar De La Hoya. You know, he got a lot of respect for De La Hoya, but why not talk his shit and, and fuck Regis Progress and, and dealing with that? You know, Regis Progress is a talented fighter. Why don't he throw his, ring in, his hat in the ring and fight De La Hoya? AB can move up to 154 pounds and probably still be the old De La Hoya. If not, people think it's competitive. Adrian Broner been done, been gone for a while. Oscar De La Hoya been gone for a long time. I can see it now. AB versus Oscar De La Hoya. I can see De La Hoya, AB having hell in one liners for De La Hoya. AB versus De La Hoya. Because I don't think he want to rematch Madonna. <laughs> you know, if, if they're not going to give AB Floyd, why not give AB Oscar De La Hoya? That's it. And if De La Hoya do what he's supposed to do versus Adrian Broner, then they could do the Canelo fight. Which Canelo going to dust his ass off. We know that. Canelo ain't playing no games. <laughs> he already don't like the Oscar shit. They might have, might have a stretcher waiting at the end of the ring. And then the stats for Oscar. We talk shit. Canelo ain't a big puncher shit. He going to be a big puncher now. Like Canelo going to be punching like never before. All right, but it is what it is. Let me know what you guys think about the rumor of the op. Fabian Broner, Fabian Madonna, younger brother of Marcos Madonna. He do fight at the welterweight division, I believe. So I don't know if they're going to fight the welterweight, catch weight in 140. Maybe move to 40, I don't know. But, you know, Mikey Garcia, he said he want to fight Terrence Crawford. Okay, okay, Leonard, 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 uh, um, TBE. Why don't Mikey Garcia send Terrence Crawford to offer? That's what I don't understand. Now, but I don't even know Bobby Earl ain't trying to let, you know, a top rank ain't trying to let Terrence Crawford come to uh, come to uh, PBC. Cool. We just need to stop talking about it until Crawford, you know, be able to join PBC or do something else to represent himself. But, you know, Mikey said he wanted to fight Crawford if, you know, he can get out of the, you know, if he can come over to the PBC. And I'm pretty sure a lot of people want to fight Crawford if he comes to the PBC. All right. But my whole thing is this. Why can't Mikey Garcia get Allison to offer? Get Allison to offer? And if it's just to the point where Al only want to make in-house fights like Bob only want to make in-house fights, then we get it. If, if, if Al don't want to pay Terrence Crawford to come across the street and fight Mikey, you know, then we get it. Then we, we can't pump fake and say, well, PBC ain't sent to offer or Crawford ain't sent to offer or Mikey ain't sent to offer. We can't pump. We can't pump fake no more. Like I said before, the sanction bill bodies, I agree with Eddie Hearn. They should be destroyed. They should be gone. We can agree on that. But then my whole thing is don't bring no more. But if y'all don't want to work together to build boxing up until, until at least Amir was it used to be, do me a favor. Just come out with the PBC belt. Come out with the design belt. Come out with the top rank belt. We could treat this like Bellator in the zone, okay? That's my whole thing because if you dudes on the same division, you got a division we got Manny Pacquiao, Earl Spence, right? Terrence Crawford, Keith Thurman, Sean Porter, Mikey Garcia, or Dennis Ugas. You got Maurice Hooker coming up. I mean, you got a lot of fighters in that division, right? Why not fight each other? If you ain't here to compete for, not, not let's just take the belts out of it. If you ain't here to compete at a high level to prove that you're the best in your division or one of the best in boxing, then we're doing it for him. Mikey can go back to Eddie Hearn and say, okay, Eddie, I think I can beat Terrence Crawford. Let's see if we can get to the zone when, you know, later in the year. Can we get them to put the money up for Terrence Crawford and, and me? You know why Mikey can't say, or Mikey go to Terrence Crawford like, you know, I'm going to go to Eddie and see if he can get this money up so we can fight. You know, and if Eddie come up with the money, you know, let's do it. But then again, top rank is going to do, do Crawford like Kovalev. The zone gave Kovalev extra, what, $2 million? I think he made 13 versus Canelo, but top rank took $2 million. $2 million to let their fighter go over there. You know what I'm saying? So my whole thing is, like, get Mike, Mikey you put the zone, get Mike, the zone need to, Mikey need to get the zone to put the money up. Or get Al to put the money up. And if you know that can't happen or you ain't doing everything your part to make that happen, you just pillow talking. Shit, just shut the fuck up. We don't need to hear it. Because I think everybody that's watching this video and out there in the box world, we love to see Mikey Garcia challenge Terrence Crawford at 135. People say Terrence Crawford ain't a big 135. We know Mikey ain't a big 135. I mean, 147. We know Mikey ain't a big 47. Let's fight. They both, you know, come from 35 at some point in their career. Mikey starting off, I think, at 26. Let's get it popping. But if Mikey's just going to put things out there as tea leaves just to get a reaction to keep his name out there, then we can just get him to shut the fuck up. But hey, let me know what you guys think. Don't forget we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You can reach out if you have a business question, inquiry, response, or video request. 
All my social media links in the description. Fast way to reach me is Twitter and Facebook and Instagram. We also have a Facebook group. All those links in the description. You want to make a donation to the channel? Cash App CJ Good three one three. That's in the description. Uh, PayPal link in the description as well. Two best way to donate. Share the video. Appreciate the love support. One time for the one time. It's your boy CJ Goodfellow. Goodfellow Sports TV. We